According to reports, a fake SMS message has been circulating to mobile phone users in India, falsely offering an app to let users register themselves for a COVID-19 vaccine. Researcher Lucas Stefanko shared screenshots of the message and the malware app it asked users to download that then spreads through the device and acquires user data. The malware app was reportedly first named COVID-19 and later renamed to Vaccine Register. Xiaomi has teased that its Redmi Watch, globally known as the Mi Watch Lite, will launch in India on May 13th. Launched in China in November last year, the wearable device will be launched alongside the Redmi Note 10S. The Redmi Watch features a 1.4-inch IPS LCD display, onboard GPS and a battery life of up to 12 days. It also comes with tracking for heart rate, blood oxygen level, stress, sleep and sports activities. Reports indicate that Samsung is readying to launch the Galaxy A52 5G smartphone in India. While the 4G model of the A52 was launched in the country in March for 26,499 rupees, the 5G model was only released in global markets. The Galaxy A52 5G sports different specs as compared to the 4G model, including a 120Hz Super AMOLED display and a Snapdragon 750G chipset. Australian retailer Officeworks has reportedly removed Apple's AirTag tracker, citing a safety risk with the accessibility of the battery. The AirTag uses a user-replaceable coin battery and was confirmed to have been removed in accordance with the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission guidelines. It's worth noting that only Officeworks has removed AirTag trackers, while other retailers in Australia continue to offer the device. Samsung has reportedly begun pushing the May Android security patch to Galaxy S20 series, S21 series and Z Fold 2 devices. Apart from the latest security patch, the update also brings camera improvements and Samsung Quick Share to the S21 series and Z Fold 2. The update is currently rolling out to users in Europe and will likely reach other regions soon.